Yes, I did. Yeah! Hey, welcome to You Never Talked About This, Mr. S, and yes, I did. Today, sedimentary rock formation. Now, there's a ton of information that we can discuss when we talk about sedimentary rock formation because sedimentary rock has to do with a lot of things. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to focus on the three or four steps that have to happen for us to have sedimentary rock. Now, it's very important to remember that sediment is bits and pieces of rock and sometimes remains of animals, organic material that fall on the ocean or on any body of water uh, and settle down to the bottom. Now, we're going to go over the four main steps of sedimentary rock formation, which are sedimentation, compaction, layering, and cementation. Oftentimes, the layering step is left aside because it's kind of obvious it's kind of uh, understood that happens, but I like to see it and I like to include it as a step because it gives me a more specific way that sedimentary rock forms. Sedimentary rock formation is a process that takes millions and millions and millions of years. Now, there are many kinds of sedimentary rock, but it is very important for you to remember the two main things that you're gonna look for to identify a sedimentary rock. Number one, layers, and number two, grains. Now I put together in the next clip a demo or a model of how sedimentary rock forms. So let's go check it out. Okay guys, so very quick, let's review the process of sedimentary rock formation. And what we have to remember is that sediments are bits and pieces of rock and dust and sometimes remains of animals and plants, organic matter that um, come all together at the bottom of the ocean. Now for the purposes of this model, let's imagine that this is a, is a mountain, the side of a mountain. This is the slope of a mountain and let's say that this mountain finishes up or ends up at the sea. Okay, so this is the sea, this is the bottom of the sea or the sea floor or the seabed. And let's imagine that water fills up this model up to here. Now, sometimes agents of erosion like wind, water, sometimes ice, they start breaking off rocks and uh, creating dust and moving uh, bits and pieces of rock. And sometimes those bits and pieces of rock end up at the bottom of the ocean, just like I'm doing here. So we have um, bits and pieces of rock <clears throat> falling on the ocean floor. Okay, now all of this all of these bits and pieces of rock begin to get squished by the weight of the water on top of it. And after some time, they all come together and form a layer. They form a layer, right? Now, uh, this process, this first step is called sedimentation. It's turning all of those bits and pieces of rocks and organic matter and dust that fell down the mountain on the, and settled on the bottom of the ocean uh, turning them into a single layer of sediment. Um, and this, is, this, this first step is called sedimentation. Now, after many, many years, and remember, this is a process that happens uh, along, you know, along a, a long stretch of time, more sediment begins to fall down on top of that first layer. And after a great deal of time, that, uh, those sediments form yet another layer on top of the first one. Now, this second layer starts pressing down on the first one, and that is the second step, which we call compaction. Compaction means to press together. So this layer is being pressed down uh, against this other layer, and they're tightening. They're getting more and more tightly closed together. Now remember, this is a process that happens along many, 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 many years. And again, it is a repetitive process or a, uh, or a cycle. So again, after some time, we have yet more sediment falling down on top of that second uh, layer. And after more compaction, another layer forms. And this is what we call layering. That's the third step. Uh, and what is happening there is that the sediment that 
uh, began falling down on the bottom of the ocean is creating many layers. So first we have sedimentation, the creation of sediment, then we have compaction as the layers begin to squish together, then we have layering as many, many, many layers begin to form. Let's put yet another layer here. And finally, when all of those layers are being compacted together, then we have the final process which is called cementation. Cementation is uh, the process by which all of these layers combine and they squish, to get, they squish together so tightly that they cement. That word cementation uh, comes from uh, cement and when you use cement you get something like tightly uh, glued down and this is exactly what happens with the layers of sediment. Now after a long, 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 long time, many millions of years, all of those layers being compact and cemented together, they form what we call sedimentary rock. And if you uh, cut these layers in half, you would have a uh, sedimentary rock. That is sedimentary rock. And remember, the way to uh, know that a rock belongs to the sedimentary rock category is by finding or trying to see the layers um, that it was formed with. And that is a process of sedimentary rock formation. Four main steps. Number one, sedimentation, the creation of sediment at the bottom of the ocean. Number two, compaction, the squishing down of layers. Number three, uh, layering, which is uh, forming many, many, many layers together and number four cementation which is uh, compacting and gluing down all of those layers to form sedimentary rock.